In Hargeisa city, the capital of Somaliland, you have, Eagle International Airport and in the anarchic city of Mogadishu, Somalia, you have, Adan Ada International Airport, while Kismayo Town, Somalia, you now have, Ahmed Guri Airport, a name stolen from the rightful owners of the people of Harar and Zila cities. And in Nairobi, Kenya, you have Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, which was named after the founding father or the first president of Kenya, while he was still alive and in power. But what about the beautiful city of Biro? The Republic of Somaliland is gearing up for increased air transport activity with the expansion Bureau Airport. After nearly five years of construction work, the Somaliland government has officially opened the new international airport for development. The $153 million expansion project was commissioned by the government of Somalian, President Musa Bihi Abdi, in the presence of other government officials, aviation stakeholders, and various media partners. The project is expected significantly increase the hub's handling capacity, highlighting the nation's commitment to boosting tourism. Bureau International Airport is one of Somaliland's main gateways, connecting regional hubs like Berbera International Airport BIA, and Barama International Airport. Aviation is critical in supporting tourism and international investments, hence, the state has invested in developing its central hub. The new international terminal is expected to handle least 6.5 million passengers per year, an outstanding increase from the 2.5 million handling capacity of the previous terminal. The terminal was constructed by construction group selected by Somaliland government, who handed it over to the airport's company of Bureau. This project commenced in 2018 and was scheduled to be completed in 2021. However, due to pandemic-induced restrictions, construction work was suspended, and the entire project was delayed by two years. Work will also be done to refurbish the existing terminals to meet international standards. Bureau International Airport has been tweaked with both international arrival and departure sections to serve as one all-inclusive terminal. The departure wing takes up a larger space in the terminal, while the remaining space is occupied by the arrival and passenger processing area. The two terminals include new facilities, like self-check-in kiosks, flight information display systems, FIDS, prayer rooms, smoking areas, restaurants, duty-free shops, and a quarantine center. Some fast food outlets have also set up shop at the airport to offer passengers more meal options. With one of Africa's longest runways, BIA is geographically positioned to serve several airports in the region conveniently. Expanding the terminals greatly benefits airlines operating at the airport. A country known to be self-sufficient and progressive in all capacities continues to make large strides to bring more progress to its people and the world. With that said, I want to send a shout out to all of our viewers for tuning in and supporting our channel. And until next time assalamu alaikum. The Wadha Y'all thank you so much for tuning in. We are going to end this report right here and again I am your host Hamza make sure to subscribe to Somali News Network to stay updated for more content just like this and until next time. Assalamu alaikum.